Hey guys, Tat here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back, or welcome to. Alright, we're just going to continue on here. I don't know what episode this is of the um, Rigmar of Cyrodiil Dragon Child DLC. This is the Friendship Arc now. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure what episode this is, but we're just getting ready to go down to Bravel. Um, oh, she was supposed to meet us over there. Um, yeah, because the baby is supposed to be getting born. In the romance arc, the baby was already born, and Rigmore just wanted to get out of the house for a while, I guess you could say. So you're taking a little trip down to Bravel, but um, in this one, we got to go pick the baby up because of the promises we made to get out of our our um, commitment, I guess you could say, or whatever for the prophecy. So in order for her to not be the mother and you be the father and stuff, you had to agree to take care of the child and protect it and stuff like that, because it's like... Everything's set. Although Blackwell moaned a bit. I'm so looking forward to this, and getting to ride Ren again is a nervous. Yeah, and um, the prophecy had to be, you know, fulfilled and all that. <laughs> Just remember, we still have enemies somewhere, so let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Hey, just point the way, and I'll follow. Alright, keep up. Right, Mo, Is he gonna mention Rose? Else. Is it gonna be Rose? <laughs> I'm all excited for Rose. The messenger wants us to stay at a guest house Go and on. in cold silver home on the water. Is she gonna Thank ask if we slept with her? Rose. She did before. Do you think it's the same person? She's like, did you sleep I with her? It's okay, it's before we were together. I, and... I guess it I probably will so that it can get that okay. part of the arc going, what the story arc. Is. That's wonderful, right? Yes, maybe. I don't know. Okay, come on, let's talk about it. Yeah, he's just gonna ask. So, what if it is Rose? And I hope it is, I really do, because I'll finally get to thank her for helping save my life. Is there anything you're not telling me about what happened? And I want to know the truth, okay? We need to be prepared. So, what happened back then? So yeah, it makes sense that, you know, it's it's done through dialogue. So basically, she's probably going to ask us again if we slept with her and stuff like that. And that's going to branch off in the quest for, you know, that you and Rose hooked up. That's how, that's how it knows to branch off into that part of the mod. I met her on the way to Riverwood. She had found you and needed my help. Uh-huh. I carried you to her camp, and we took care of you. Did she get you to do anything else? She told me of an old shrine supposedly filled with treasure. So you checked it out, right? Yes, the rumors were true. I must have picked up 5,000 gold. It was damned heavy. What happened about that treasure? I gave her half and it got a bit. Let's say she was very grateful. <laughs> You're such an honest person. Did you sleep with her? Dragonborn! Come on, Dragonborn. It's fine. See? I'm totally cool with the, it. Your character okay? says Rigmore both ways, but by choosing the yes option, that's going to branch the mod off. So that makes sense. Yes, but it wasn't what you think. She was actually quite... I'm done talking about this. Come on, let's move out. Yes, but it wasn't what you think. She was actually quite... Quite what? Oh, I remember that. Yeah, if I didn't get her... <laughs> she said if I didn't get it right. I totally forgot about that. On. 
she would rip my balls off and feed them to the slaughterfish. <laughs> oh my days! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Rhino, that. It's not funny. Well, this is going to be fun if it is, right? <laughs> it is going to be fun, yes. Catching up. Well, we will soon find out. After you. I'm surprised Rigbert didn't say, well, you must have got it right because you still have your balls. <laughs> okay, get on your horse. Let's go. Come on, slacker. Don't be grunting. Go get on Ren. Hello. Damn it, Rigmore. Go get on your horse. There. Thank you. That ground glitched out again right there. It did that last time too. The the run walkway here, runway, whatever. Okay, I, I what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward for you guys so you don't have to watch me run all the way over there again. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and um I'll see you guys when we get to Bravel. Okay, there she is. All right, let's go put our... What the heck? Man. This way. No, the other side. There you go. Guess he doesn't want to talk. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and make a save. And we'll go see Rose. Was there something we needed from yes. her? What have you? I don't think sale? there was. Not much, but I hope you like them. Oh, I guess there was. Yeah, the roses. Stop by again. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. We are here to see Rose. Ah. Hey, Rose, you've got visitors.
What is that noise? Rose! Oh, hey, girl. This is a wonderful surprise. I'm so pleased you made it. By the gods, I have waited so long to meet you again. If it wasn't for you and the Dragonborn, I would not be here right now. So it's true. You are the Dragonborn. And if that's true... <clears throat> I'll, uh, give you two a moment together. <laughs> Rose, it's so good to see you again. I didn't believe it at first when Antonius told me about the Dragonborn Emperor and the High Queen Rigmore. As there's only one Rigmore I've ever known, it sounded almost like something out of a fairy tale, but here you both are. Yeah, how about that? You took good care of her, and I'm so proud of you. Come, let's sit and catch up. I want to see my girl. What is so that amazing. noise? Something sounds like an insect over here. We would all be sitting here together after all these years. Rose, thank you for saving I don't know, it's like crazy loud in my earphones or my headset. You don't owe me a thing. And I couldn't have done it without the Dragonborn. Did you ever return to Skyrim? No, I haven't been back. After Hedrin unknowingly led the Thalmor to Riverwood, in my brief incarceration, I wanted to start afresh, try something new. Of course, I lost everything I had, but I never gave up. You can look after yourself, right? Rigmore, if you've got nothing to lose, you can only gain, right? I was a different person back then. I only took with me the parts I liked about myself. Like helping people out? Oh, well, something like that. I help out here in Bravel. People come to me all the time. I even made some balms for the Count to help him with his issues. What's wrong with him? Well, the Count and his family have caught a disease. It's not life-threatening, but very contagious. That's why the keep area is out of bounds. What disease? It's an Argonian bum disease called Skill. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, no. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> oh, the gods. Hey, Rigmore, why don't you go get a round of drinks? Tell Matilda to put them on the tab. <clears throat> drinks coming right up. I came for you, Rose. I know. I figured something had happened when the news filtered through Bruma that Fort Black had been attacked. You were in Bruma? I made it over the border. Easily sneaked past those dumb mercenaries. I spent a couple of weeks there before moving on working as a part-time cleaner at the Tap and Tack. Colin and his wife were good to me. Then I heard about Bravil and what a steaming pile of junk it was, and thought I would fit right in there. <laughs> Bruma was way too cold for me anyway, so I made my way down here and have been here ever since. I missed you, Rose. <sighs> oh, I missed you too. Here we go. Let's drink to absent friends. So, Rose, how did you manage to become the proprietor of Silverhome? Well, it was a little run down and had been empty for about a year before I got here. I was staying at the chapel across the way. The sisters took good care of me at that time. I helped with the gardening, taking care of the graveyard along with Antonius. Is, uh, you and Antonius... <laughs> oh, no. Nothing like that. I'm very picky when it comes to that kind of thing. <laughs> As she looks at you. <laughs> About that time, the Countess became very sick after her second child. I got involved and 
They both made it. One morning a few days later, the Count arrived at the chapel and, without saying a word, handed me the keys to Silverhome on the water. I've been here ever since. But that's enough about me. What about you two? What's been going on with you? Dragonborn? Raymo and I set out on an adventure that's still ongoing. <laughs> you got that right. I can only imagine. I mean, look at you now. It makes me so happy for many reasons that you're both still together and happy. And most importantly, Cyrodiil has hope. No, the Empire has hope. Especially after the darkest of days these last few years. You mean after Cepheus? No, oh, I remember it all. It got really crazy. Count Bravel, along with some others, were defending the South Bridge, but they traversed his positions and went straight for the capital. We knew they had virtually sacked Leowen, so the first chance I had, I headed down there to see what I could do to help. We are now rebuilding and restoring this city. The new Count is an honorable man. I've never met him, but from what I hear, he's doing an amazing job, and the people love him. Yeah. Wow. That was a trying time for me. If the Dragonborn had not been there for me, I... Rigmore, if I had known it was you, I would have come to visit you. But things went really sideways, right? The next thing I heard was that the Countess had been imprisoned for treason, but then had managed to escape and break the Siege of Bruma. Did you know Count Bravel took his army and sat on the hill overlooking the capital? Skingrad had all but besieged Chorl and had him cowering behind his walls. Leowin was surrounded and there was nothing to stop Bruma from taking the bridge that way apart from him. He turned his horse around and took his army home. I asked him about that moment. He simply said, Rose, I did my part in saving the Empire that day. Order had been restored by the grace of the Divines. Hey, why don't I get another round of drinks? I got it. Everyone hang tight. She's great. You've done an amazing job looking out for her. She's unique. How long have you two been together now? Well, I lost her for a few years. I had other things to take care of. Are you two... No, Raymo is like family to me. Did you ever think you would become what you are today? Never, but I knew I was here for something after I learned what I was. The last Dragonborn. Raimo should have become the Empress. If the Divines so wish it, it shall be so. Like us being together again. That's an ambiguous statement. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would think it was completely innocent. Wait a minute here, what? That I am guilty of purposefully trying to mislead you? Which one of these is going to progress? I don't, I don't get what you... Rose, it was a completely innocent. Purposely trying to mislead you. I don't I don't know which one is supposed to advance it. They both kind of I don't know. I think that's the wrong option though. Rose, it was completely innocent. Then I am guilty of purposely trying to mislead you. <laughs> I don't get it. I think we just like killed the romance with her. My lord, my mistress will see you now. Alone. <laughs> what now? Time is of the essence. We must go now, quickly. Go. Rigmore and I will spend time catching up. I want to hear all about her adventures. I'll be waiting here for you when you return. 
All the more beer for us. Well, if anybody else understood what those two options were, let me know in the, on the comments because neither one of them seemed to make sense to me as to progress, you know, a romance or whatever, or to stop a romance. The count after helping his family. She is so caring, and if she can help, she will. More often than not, she will leave food at the shrine of Mara. Next morning, it's gone. I asked her why she did that, and she told me it was there for the poor. Sometimes she will visit Nicodemus, who is looking after the Mages Guild, only to bring him food. I'm guilty of trying to purposefully mislead you. So if you're trying to progress a romance, you probably don't want to purposely be misleading. At least I wouldn't think so. Here we are. But if then you're... Vesa is not in the chapel, try her living quarters. The now other option is... Until next time. No, this was just innocent What? whatever. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know which one was what. <laughs> Well met. Majesty, it is my honor to receive you under these special circumstances. The honor is mine. I take it the time is near. Mara informed us you would be coming some time ago. Come, I'll explain everything in the privacy of my living quarters. Yeah, I, I don't know. Or maybe both options just lead to the same thing, I, and I'm reading into it too much. Here we are. Please sit. Make yourself comfortable. We have made a special antechamber for Saint Elana in the Undercroft. She is very near. Mara contacted me to make the preparations nine months ago. One of my priestesses volunteered to make the sacrifice in exchange for her martyrdom, Elana. Alana the kind. For her martyrdom? Because there's a great risk that she might not survive the birth. She has now been sainted by the divines and will take her place alongside the Allfather. Do not be concerned. It is what she wants and she is happy and honored with her fate. So what Frethoff said was true. I'm sorry? Nothing. Please continue. The priestesses are waiting on her every need, as we speak. And Rose will be arriving in the morning to be on hand if there are any complications with the delivery. Does Rose know about Alana's fate? No, and it's best kept that way, for her sake. I hear Rose has been helping here at the chapel. Rose is a shining star. Not only does she help here, but Braville owes her a great debt of gratitude. She travels sometimes to other cities to help as a midwife, physician. <laughs> Her gardening skills could use a little work, but Antonius is there for the heavy lifting. You all seem to have such an idyllic life here in Breville. Hmm. It's not all perfect, but has come a long way since. Since you have become emperor, 
and released all of us from that tyrant and his monster. Anyway, I wanted to see you just to inform you the child could arrive any time now. It could be even as early as tomorrow. We Rigmo and I are staying over at Rose's, so if you need us, send Antonius. Because there's something else. What is it, Ravasa? <sighs> Something isn't right. Mara has had visions. Someone, no. Something lurks. Hides in dark places in plain sight. She tried to see through the darkness, but there's a powerful barrier. But she saw in a flash the image of the face of Tang Mo. From our cover. It might be nothing, but Mara has asked us to be very diligent, as it could be a premonition of danger. But we simply don't know. That's why I asked Antonius to implore that you kept a low profile. Please, Why not Magic. just have my legions what descend on the city instead of all this cloak and dagger stuff? We simply cannot risk exposing ourselves to our enemies in this world or the other. This is Mara's doing. A gift from the divines that surpasses any norm. Just like my own birthing. Your own birthing? <laughs> I am a child born from two mothers. So anything is possible if the Divines so wish it. Indeed. And thank you for coming to see me. I just wanted to relay the information. Not only about Alana, but also my fears. I am here now. If you see Thank anything you. untoward, send Antonia. Sure I will protect the you all. The power of the divines is bestowed in you, and that you are now here with us in this moment of glory. Okay. Back to Silverholm. Put your shoes back on. Yes. And we are about the end of this episode. This will be a good place to stop it before we go back into here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make a save here. I have a save before coming in here, of course, so... In case I can't progress a romance with her, I can go back to that one dialogue choice. I don't know which either of those we're supposed to be implying or meaning but yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and cut this off here so thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next episode well guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button and also consider hitting that subscribe button. Again, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in future episodes.